Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. E and F are points on side DC of square ABCD. Straight lines AF and BE intersect at Z. If areas of triangle EFG and triangle ABG are 4 and 9 respectively, what is the area of the square ABCD? We start this problem but by first of all noting from the figure that we have on our hands two similar triangles, namely triangle ABG and triangle EFG. And why are these two triangles similar? Well, we have this straight line AF intersecting the two parallel lines, sides AB and DC of the square. And so we have these angles that are marked in red as alternate angles, which should be equal. And similarly, we have the straight line BE intersecting the parallel lines AB and DC. And as a result, the alternate angles shown here, marked in green, they should be equal as well. So we have two corresponding angles of triangle ABG and triangle EFG equal. That implies that these two triangles are similar triangles. So with that conclusion, we draw a straight line through the intersection point G parallel to the sides AD and BC of the square. And that straight line is drawn here in blue. And let's call this line PQ, intersecting AB and DC at points P and Q respectively. Now this line, PQ, because it's parallel to the sides AD and BC of the square, this line should be perpendicular to the other two sides, AB and DC. And in effect, this line becomes the altitude to the triangles ABG and EFG. So PG becomes the altitude of triangle ABG and GQ becomes the altitude of triangle EFG. But we know that triangle ABG and triangle EFG are similar triangles. So we can use this property that the ratio of areas of similar triangles should be equal to the ratio of the squares of their altitude. So triangle ABG by triangle EFG, the areas, the ratio of those areas will be equal to PG square by QG square because PG and QG are the altitudes of triangles ABG and triangle EFG respectively. And we know that triangle ABG, that's equal to 9, that, that area is 9, and triangle EFG, that area is 4. So we can write this, PG square by QG square is equal to 9 by 4. Now, from this we can derive that PG by QG, if we just take the square root of 9 by 4, that comes to 3 by 2. So PG by QG is equal to 3 by 2. So, what I'll do here now, for because I just found this very simple, I let PG equal to 3A and QG equal to 2A, where A is some common constant of proportionality. So, we have PG by QG equal to 3 by 2. I'm letting PG equal to 3A and QG equal to 2A. So, that makes PQ, the length of PQ, equal to 5A. And we know that the length of the PQ should be equal to the side AD or side BC of the square because they're parallel. So in effect, they should be equal, right? So I can derive from this the side AD of the square is equal to 5A. It's simply the sum of PG and QG, right? And... If AD is 5A and since ABCD is a square, the adjacent side AB should be also equal to 5A. 
So now consider triangle ABG. What is the area of triangle ABG? Well, area of a triangle is basically half base multiplied by altitude. So the base is AB, the altitude is PG. So you can write area of triangle ABG is equal to half AB multiplied by PG. And AB is 5A and PG is 3A, right? So we have half 5A multiplied by 3A, which makes it 15A squared by 2. But triangle ABG, is its area is given as 9, so we can equate this to 9. And from this, we can solve for A squared. And A squared comes to 9 multiplied by 2 by 15, uh, which when you reduce the numerator and denominator by cancelling out the common factor, 3 comes to 6 by 5. So A squared is 6 by 5. Now the question comes, what's the area of the square ABCD? Well, according to our figure and the symbols that we have assumed, each side of square ABCD is 5A. So that makes the area of the square ABCD equal to 5A whole square, which comes to 25A square. And we already know what A square is. So A square is 6 by 5. We just substitute that and then we get this 25 multiplied by 6 divided by 5, which comes to 30. So the correct choice in this case will be option D, 30.